Hi guys. I thought I'd do a video, a really short video, on the uh, changes to the RFB gas system over the years, and then also address its biggest pro and con. Stay tuned. All right, so some uh, changes that they made from basically the Gen 1 gas system that's on this gun to uh, the current models. There's about 20,000 of these on the market as of um, 2020. So current RFBs have a different style um, and a longer uh, gas piston adjustment. The gas piston is held in place by uh, a long recoil spring that's on, one of the dual recoil springs. So the second one is actually elongated to push against the uh, piston here. And then the, the um, coating on the bolt is going to be either gold, so titanium nitride, or uh, black nitride, which is the more current version of this gun. Um, one of the cool things about this gun is it has a, a very adjustable gas system, and it is made that way so they can run just about anything that we have on the market out today, all the way from surplus rounds, Wolf, Tula, to your nice, um, you know, match grade ammunition, and it'll still cycle. But you can't go from using 100 and 78 grain uh, gold metal match kings to um, 147 grain uh, wolf and still expect it to cycle. It will actually won't uh, because the pressure differences in terms of what the 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 two rounds produce are different. And you while you can get away with running a lower gas setting on like 168, 178, so say like bottom plus 10, 13. Uh, for the 147 grain stuff, 150 grain stuff, surplus stuff, you might actually have to be up there between, you know, 15 and 20. Um, the other thing that you have to know when it comes to um, piston adjustment on these guns is there's, there's just not a lot of room for um, the bolt to cycle. Give you an idea. This is the RFB's. Um, like here's the here's the bolt as it as it mates into the uh, the barrel, and the barrel actually starts right about there. Okay. So as this gun is cycling, this is about where the top dust cover is. Okay. I'm just gonna put it back here so you can see. This is how much room. You have all right so this is how much room you have with the the bolt all the way forward when you go move it to the rear right, let's see if i can do this this is the amount of room this bolt has okay uh, so if you have too much gas what you're doing is you're just causing the bolt to beat against the back end of the um, buttstock and if you run it over gassed enough uh, you can have issues where this whole section right here has beaten, will actually break the welds on the butt pad. So this is why this gun has to be adjusted for most of the ammunition that you're running. Um, now, in my case, I shop at, I shop around most of the gun stores, and I take this thing to the range pretty much all the time. And the cool part is, is I'm not shooting it somebody else is. And so if they have an ammunition that I'm not familiar with, and usually I'll, I'll just make them show me the box. Then I can go from what I'm using, which I usually shoot like 168 grain bullets out of this, so like Hornady, ELD, or uh, the, M8, the M118 long range ammunition. So I shoot that out of this. Once you get an idea of 
how to set set up the gun for the ammunition you're using. I I I, I have personally had more luck shooting this gun, um, sticking close to the same bullet weights of uh, the different manufacturers than it is going from, you know, uh, 178, 168 to 147 and then back. Um, while I do do that from time to time because that's what people have uh, ammunition wise when they're at the range, I stick with the same bullet weight. And by doing that, that means I don't have to change the gas system much, if at all. When it comes to, you know, lending this rifle out for people to shoot, um, then what happens is, is I'll, I'll let them shoot it a couple of times if there's a malfunction because of the type of ammunition they're using. So say Winchester White Box was the last one I, I, I let somebody shoot. And they had uh, 20 rounds, so I loaded up the magazine, handed it to them, um, told them I would have to adjust it um, based on the ammunition they were using. So go ahead and take a couple of shots. First shot, pff, yep, short stroked. So I, you know, manually racked the gun, moved it up three, said fire it again. Uh, again, second shot, short stroke, not, not quite enough power to go all the way back and throw that spent case out of the, the uh, ejection chute. So I moved it up another two, and then it started cycling reliably. Boom, boom, boom. That guy was just shooting this as fast as he could with the, with the magazine I was using. I didn't, I didn't load him. I didn't give him a 20 round mag. I gave him a five round mag. And then when it came to, you know, time for me to shoot, you know, I backed back off to, I think I'm at bottom plus 13 and, uh, I kept shooting it. Today's video on the Keltec RFB gas system, uh, was brought to you by me. And some of the questions I've seen on the Facebook and the KTOG uh, forums. Primarily being that, you know, hey, most people don't know if they've got a Generation 1 or Generation 2 uh, gas system. Um, pro tip, if you've got a 24-inch RFB, you have a Gen 2 gas system. And uh, the other thing I was addressing here is the, uh, the gas adjustment. Because uh, I have seen videos for the... For new people with the Keltec RFB, where they have basically chosen to pick a gas setting instead of working up to um, where it actually functions. Like, I mean, literally, I'm going to close it all the way down, open it all the way up, and since there are 40 gas settings, I'm going to pick something in the middle. There, were, there are people out there who want to take shortcuts and just want to kind of pick a random gas setting, and if it doesn't work, the gun's crap. Well, um, I don't have a lot of experience on adjustable gas systems. I have three. Uh, I have the RFB uh, foul and then the uh, K&N Precision uh, gas piston for my AK. And all of those required some dialing in for the ammunition that I was using um, before it would cycle. And so if you need to take a shortcut, here, here's what I recommend. Um, since the RFB and the K&N Precision have like 20 to 40 gas settings, uh, move up by between two and five clicks and that's the probably the, the best way I can say to find your gas setting is between two to five and then from there you can kind of figure out going up or down uh, once you find your once you find something that's, that works you know start backing off uh, giving it less gas so if you fired three rounds you went five ten fifteen and at 15, it started cycling what you wanted it to do, then start backing off until it doesn't and give it a couple more, um, give it a little bit more, like a couple more turns of gas and you should be good. That's my tip and uh, hope to see you guys around soon.